and welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Uh, let's get to the news and jokes. Well, guys, we have some good news from overseas in the fight against COVID. Watch this. The UK approved the Pfizer vaccine. It makes the UK the first Western country to give a vaccine to the public outside of trials. Wow. Everyone there will have access to the Pfizer vaccine. Apparently, the UK is now five hours and five months ahead of, the, uh, of us. <laughs> uh, Americans heard and were like, uh, I watched The Crown. Does that mean I can get it? Uh, the news is so good, people in the UK got this close to showing emotion. I feel a tear coming on. Fight it. <laughs> Fight it. <laughs> but this is interesting. There's an order for who gets the vaccine first. It goes codgers, hags, blokes, mums, and last, wankers. <laughs> I just thought it was interesting. Uh, these are some strange times. Right now, Americans are looking at the leader of the UK and thinking, I wish we had that guy in charge. <laughs> The vaccine over there is actually the same as the American one. The only difference is the British one is drier and more sarcastic. <laughs> I love that joke. <laughs> Meanwhile, I saw that Vladimir Putin said Russia will also start vaccinating their people next week. Yep, the vaccine seems like a winner. Five out of five Russian doctors recommend it if they know what's good for them. <laughs> And this is great. Russia is already working on a vaccine for whatever is in that vaccine. <laughs> Seriously, I need sushi in Iowa on a Tuesday before I trust a vaccine in Russia. <laughs> uh, hey, here's some big news from Washington. Yesterday it came out that President Trump might give Rudy Giuliani a preemptive pardon. Well, now he's thinking about the same thing for his son in law, Jared Kushner and his kids, Ivanka, Eric, and Don Jr. Some families get each other's sweaters for Christmas. The Trumps get pardons. <laughs> yep, Trump said he wants to focus on taking care of his loved ones, those closest to him, and Eric. <laughs> it's not a great look for your presidency when your biggest accomplishment is most family members pardoned. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. The last person who needed pardons for their whole family was Charles Manson. Meanwhile, Mike Pence is also asking for a pardon for the time he accidentally glanced at a picture of Kate Upton. <laughs> <laughs> Mother! It happened! It happened again! <laughs> it was scary for me, but I slept it off. <laughs> yeah. Face down on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, everybody. Trump is busy last night. He hosted a White House Christmas party. He hosted a party and, and he made a pretty big announcement. Listen to this. Overnight, President Trump touting his success, hinting at the inevitable and suggesting another possible run for the White House. It's been an amazing four years. We're trying to do another four years. Otherwise, I'll see you in four years. Milani heard that and was like, if you think I'm decorating this stupid house again, you're nuts. <laughs> really, another Trump presidency? That's like the director of Cats announcing a sequel. <laughs> you could tell Trump's serious about running again because he's already claiming the 2024 election is rigged. If Trump... Thank you, Seth. Uh, if... <laughs> I always count on you, buddy. If Trump won in 2024, he'd be the first president to serve non-consecutive terms since Grover Cleveland, which Trump thinks is the full name of the fuzzy blue Muppet. <laughs> That's right, in four years, Trump's either going to be the president of the United States or the co-host of American Ninja Warrior. But there was actually another video taken of Trump's big announcement. I don't know if you've seen this thing, but this, listen to this. Ugh. A party without masks, people coughing everywhere. Next, Trump's going to celebrate the eight nights of Hanukkah at Walter Reed. 
Well, guys, earlier tonight, NBC aired the 88th annual Rockefeller Center Christmas tree lighting, and I have to say, the tree looks amazing. Uh, it's somewhere between 75 and 80 years old, and good news, at that age, the tree will be one of the first to receive the vaccine. <laughs> If you plan on seeing the tree in person, it'll stay lit every day from 6 a.m. to midnight, pretty much like every parent homeschooling their kids. <laughs> but due to COVID, visitors can only see the tree for five minutes. In response, dads were like, what are we supposed to do with the other four and a half minutes? <laughs> see it? Oh, thank you. Wow, pause. <laughs> Some business news, I heard that Drake is now selling a scented candle that smells like himself. Imagine being a scientist and your boss is like, yeah, I'm pulling you off the COVID vaccine so you can work on a Drake candle. <laughs> Actually, Drake said it's not even pronounced Drake, it's pronounced Drake. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, the Drake candle smells like musk, ambers, cashmere, suede, and velvet. I, on the other hand, smell like speed stick, everything bagels, and Purell. And on and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on.